This week's portion, Vayishlach, it describes the reunion between Jacob and Esau, the twin brothers. We remember from a couple of weeks ago that Jacob uh, deceived his brother by dressing up as him, wearing his clothing, and going into their father to receive the blessing that their father Isaac was intending to give Esau, but gave to Jacob instead. And that created uh, further this enmity between the brothers, so much so that Jacob had to run away right after that to the home country, where he has been for the past uh, 21 or so years. Now he's God has told him to come back to the land of Canaan, to his ancestral home, and to continue uh, to maintain the covenant and uh, to bring up his children there in the land of Canaan. As he is fearful of this reunion, he is also thinking about his relationship with God, and we find this very dramatic scene in which he wrestles, Jacob wrestles with an angel all night. And as a result of that wrestling, he receives a new name from the angel, from God, Israel, and from which we are known as the people of Israel. I, I mentioned this uh, wrestling scene as wrestling with God uh, in, in order to highlight not just that event and how yeah, it, crucial it is in the story of our patriarchs and matriarchs, but also because this past weekend on Friday, my teacher from rabbinical school, Rabbi Neil Gilman, passed away. It, it, it is Neil Gilman who wrote this book, Sacred Fragments, among other books that he wrote, Recovering Theology for the Modern Jew, and it is in his class that he challenged all rabbinical students to uh, develop their own theology. It is thanks to Rabbi Neil Gilman that I began this exploration as what, what, it, what it means to believe in God and what kind of God, or at least I should qualify that statement, uh, wh what do I imagine God to be? And so, as I have shared my theology with you over the decades, even uh, evolving it over time to develop, uh, to constantly think about what theology makes sense uh, and how we can understand a belief in God to uh, motivate us today, all of that is really thanks to Rabbi Neil Gilman and this wrestling match that Jacob has with the angel should motivate us to wrestle with our thoughts. What are our values and morals, but even more importantly, what is our, what is our picture of God, and how does that, how does God motivate us to be the best people we can be? Because that ultimately is the reason to have a theology, that morals and ethics are fine, but really are created by humankind. But theology is eternal, and, and so when we do good, we're doing good not just because it feels good to do so today, but because we're part of a bigger picture. And that bigger picture is our relationship with God, and I hope and pray that we too can um, survive the struggle with the angel, uh, the metaphorical struggle that we live through every day, and that we become victorious, that it motivates us to be as good as we can be. Shabbat Shalom.